hundred miles an hour and drinking up the fumes. You'll never more lie when you feel this power. Can't you stop it once it starts. Fever racing right through your heart. You're living your life in the heat you see burning. It's the only way to go Baby, there's a hot streak in paradise for you and me I'm the quick lad Best company Too much wheel spin off the line. Take it easy when you drop the hammer next time, Billy boy. I thought I'd get that hole shot on him, you know? He's usually geared up pretty high. Yeah. Didn't work out. I did all right anyway. <laughs> hey, Elder, you're teaching the kids some of Lonnie Johnson's tricks. <laughs> All oh, that smoke, man. Whew. Pretty. Just don't win races. Hey, Gary, give me a few more runs, all right? Then he'd be sucking my pipes. Oh, yeah. Sure. It's still chatting to you. Meathead. Go ahead. It's gonna be Miss Fasco, right? Yeah, my name's Candy. You must be Lonnie Johnson's mechanic. No, 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 I'm Billy the Kid. I drive a funny car. That's one machine right there. That one. That's the one. It's beautiful. You let me guess whether I'm right or not. You're waiting for the Lonnie Johnson AA top fuel machine. And listen, the current standing has Lonnie Johnson at number 18. But I'd say tonight, Lonnie Johnson is number one in your heart. What do you say, fast? Yeah, yeah. 
Incredible double A top fuel machines. Now in the right lane, I want you to welcome driving the Wheeler Dealer car. That's Terry Cap down there. All right. Now in the left lane. You better watch that left foot of yours off the line. You got a lot more horses back there than you ever had before. Now listen. Lonnie's always, always a crowd pleaser, and tonight is no exception, exception because tonight the Lucky Man Fueler is running for the first time anywhere, the Lonnie Johnson Design Quad Ravine Blower. Now, for those of you who aren't mechanically inclined, I'll just say for now that the Quad Ravine Blower is a brand new concept in supercharging brought to you by the good people at FASCO, and it is reputed to increase the power of the FASCO power plant by 16% over its normal 2,000. Thousand horsepower. Now that is pumping out the ponies tonight. I'm holding you responsible for that crash today. What? Who the hell told you to tack on that damn blower anyway? Look, if you want to win, you can't stand still. Win? I can't afford to win like that. I'm on a budget. Vasco ain't Gulf and Western. Oh, wait a minute. You really don't give a damn, do you? You don't want to win. Right. I don't. Not if it's going to bust my budget. I have to tell you again, winning is too expensive. Then what the hell are we in this for? I'll tell you what we're in it for to sell those little red, white, and blue cans of Fasco. Because if we don't, I don't eat, you don't eat, nobody eats. You just keep those cars competitive enough to stay in the limelight, so those good folks out there can see the Fasco trademark. You got it? In showbiz. Yeah, yeah, OK. I got it, Bill. Yeah, yeah. I got it. drum 
some shattering fuel dragsters made even more noise than usual last night out at Edmonton International Speedway. Drag racing star Lonnie Lucky Man Johnson lived up to his name and walked away from a spectacular crash. Things started to go wrong about halfway down the quarter mile strip. The explosion and fire destroyed the Fastco top fuel dragster. An amazing accident and even more amazing that Johnson wasn't hurt. And now, let's check in with Marsha and the weather. Hello, Sammy's. Sam? It's Lonnie. Lonnie, where are you? Are you in town? No, I'm on the road. On my way to Big Sky. But a uh, week after that, I'm going to be in Spokane, and I thought maybe What's wrong, Lonnie? What are you talking about? Something's wrong. I can hear it. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just fine. I had the minor accident in the dragster. What the hell is minor? <laughs> well, she didn't blow up when she landed. That's not funny. Are you calling me from the hospital? No, I'm not calling you from the hospital. You want me to put Elder on the intercom? No, no, no. I believe you. How were, how were things in Seattle? business as usual. It sure would be nice, though, to see you come walking through my door. Hey, why don't you? You don't have a car to drive for a while. You know, I'd love to, be, But you know Adam, so... It's, uh, promotion time and all that, uh... Oh, hey, babe. I'm sorry. Look, I gotta get back to work. Do you promise you'll call me from Big Sky? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Sam, I wanna see you soon. Lonnie's amazing. That crash didn't seem to phase him a bit. Shit, boy. I walked away from ten times worse. Did I ever tell you about the time me and you for What the hell's that? Shit. My tire in the chaparral. You're kidding me. Christ! That's what I forgot. What? Damn spare tire. You forgot the spare tire? Thanks, we already got one. <laughs> Didn't you hear the joke about America's greatest racing team? Forgot to bring their spare tire? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dig this. The hot shit fast go up that don't even have a spare. <laughs> we got one I think they can use. I don't think they know how to change it. Hey, Meatball, why don't you go behind the truck and give yourself a valve job? <laughs> hey, 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 man, come on. Come on, ladies, come on. Fuck you, settle down. Mm. Hey, Elder, is uh, Lonnie back in the Pleasure Dome? Yeah. He's on the fourth floor taking a sauna bath with seven geisha girls. Right. Stoner, I uh, I think we better help these poor guys out, eh? Okay. Give me a call when you're done. That's mighty black of you. Black, eh? Yeah, yeah, sure. Count me out. 
What do you hear from the Flintstones? I gotta get pacemaker to make me up a rig like this. Oh, you wouldn't like it. You're too used to vans. You'd never be able to handle it. Yeah, maybe. That was a hell of a crash you took there at the Speedway, man. You're still lucky. I walked away from it, didn't I? Yeah. You must have got shaken up, man. Playing with toy cars. I saw the crash on TV. It looked great. How come you always know where the camera is? Well, it's just part of the game, Black. Yeah, well, I wish you were running funny cars, man. It's like if my picture in the paper if I beat Mr. Big Time. Uh, you know something, Gary? I think you got your hands full with a kid. Brooke? Come on, get serious. He's a punk. No, he's not. He's good, and he's coming up fast, and he could be number one. I can tell. Oh, yeah? Now, what do you think about Gary Black? Come on. Gary Black. Well, I think he's doing all right. But you think that um, this is as far as I can go, don't you? Now, I didn't say that. You said that. You didn't have to say it, man. See you, Lonnie. <laughs> well, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, Wes. Yeah, thanks a lot, Stoner. Uh, they're ready to roll. <sighs> Take it off. What? What the hell are you talking about? You heard me. Let his goddamn oil company find him a spare. Oh, shit, Wes. Sorry, man. Ah, it's okay, Stoner. We'll manage. What the hell went on in there? <laughs> Drag racer. Drag it. 
racing is handicap racing, and that means that your wheels can compete. So don't just watch, get in on the action and run what you wrong. Tonight, right after the final top eliminator round, for those of you who dig boogie and bopping and finger bopping, there's gonna be dancing right out there in the tracks to the music of the big sky, full tilt boogie band. Now approaching the Christmas tree, we have a Pontiac GTO looking hot and dirty in the right lane. In the left lane, we got a mild Mopar looking cool and clean. There go the lights, there go the GTO. You can't win them all. It's been a bad day for Mopars all around. Let's have a hand for our friend in the Plymouth. Remember, fans, that could happen to you. Better luck next time. All right. It's the Big Sky Drag Race. Fabulous, fantastic, and terrific. Don't go away, fans, because there's lots more coming right at you. Mr. Slezak, nice turnout you got here today. So, so, I expected to see you flying in this morning. I landed at the municipal airport. I got some business in town, so I drove in. The lady at the gate tried to get me to pay. <laughs> Sorry. If I'd known you were coming, I would have told her. No, no, that's OK. That's OK. Make them pay. Speaking of paying. Jesus, Phil, you're killing me with this routine. This routine isn't killing you. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. There are people waiting on me to tell them what to do. You know, I bet Fasco wouldn't be too happy to find out his own track rep was on the take. You're going to tell him? I ain't telling nobody nothing. I was just supposed to. Slezak, look at this as an agent's commission. It'll make you feel better. The Fast Coat team and Lonnie Johnson sell tickets at this mosquito patch. If you don't want us to come. I was only talking, Phil. I will rock the boat. Good. Because if you rock the boat and it tips over, you'll be the first one to drown. Take care. Stress 70. Can't hurt none. <laughs> Honey. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Phil. I got a photographer waiting for you in that shack they call the timing tower. So get something on that says Fasco. Be nice to him. He's syndicated, okay? Okay, Phil. Uh, look, Glenn, I wasn't kidding about that quadrivane. You want it, you stick it on there, it's yours, huh? Thanks, man. Phil. Man just don't know his own strength. Yeah, he's a good boy, Lonnie. That guy really burns my ass. Hey, Gary, check this out. It's that asshole Johnson. Uh, well, you gotta take your eyes where you can get them. Gets them too easy. The guy's a joke, man. Yeah, but he sure does know some nice looking women, don't he? Well, he does. All right, all right, it's summer, it's drag racing, it's the big sky drag race, and you're watching the very last of our single qualifying funny car runs.
Hi, Billy. It's Vasco, huh? How do I look? It's terrific. I looked for you this morning when we got in. Oh, yeah. Uh, my outfit wasn't ready till lunchtime, you know? And then Phil had me come over in a cab and pose for pictures with Lonnie and stuff. Yeah. It was real tight. See you and Adamson getting along okay, are you? Yeah. We get along okay. It's pretty smooth. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, I gotta... You'll be around, huh? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Race. That's okay. I was only a qualifier. Great. Can I watch you fix your car till Phil needs me again? Oh, well, you're Miss Fasco, aren't you? Sure am. Hey, PJ? Yeah. Why don't we just step into my office here and talk there? Sounds serious. Just a little business. That's serious. What's on your mind, Phil? I got a problem, and you're the only one that can help me. We well, sure. What is it? I don't normally bug you with my problems. I mean, you're supposed to drive, I'm supposed to take care of the business. That's the way it's supposed to be, but... I think I should let you know that the boys from the front office in Kansas City are putting on an awful lot of pressure to drop the fuel dragster completely. Now, that's my problem. And I'm gonna go to the wall for you, Lonnie. You're gonna get that car, believe me. Great. Hey, look, Phil. Look, I know you're good at bat for me, huh? Damn right. Let's talk about today. I can't let the kid drive. It's got to be you. <laughs> well, me and a funny car? Hey, Phil, look. I drive fuelers. It's what I'm known for. It's what I do best. Bonnie, we don't have a fueler. I'm not blaming you for what happened. It's just that those fans out there came to see Lonnie Johnson drive, not the kid. We owe him that. Phil, you asking me to take that kid's ride from him? Just for a couple of meets. Jim Kane at Redline says that in three or four meets, uh, the car will be ready. I mean, the kid's got to pay his dues, too. The bottom line is that he's not Lonnie Johnson. There's nothing I can do about that. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, that is going to hurt. Hey, Phil, look, he's just starting to fly, man. You know that. I'll tell you what. Why don't you talk to him? You're both drivers, he respects you, he respects you, he idolizes you. I mean, if I had talked to him, it wouldn't be the same thing. <sighs> Two meets. Is that the gasoline? <sighs> well, no, they call these uh, fuel cars because they're on nitro-methane fuel. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not all nitro. It's about uh, 80 percent. It should be about 20 percent alcohol. We try and mix it just before the race, you know, so it doesn't go sour on us before we start. Yeah, that'd be okay. Every driver's got his own special special mixture, and uh, likes to do it himself. Except for the big time drivers like Lonnie. Hmm. What does he do? Uh, he lets the elder do it. They must really trust each other, huh? Yeah, I guess. Hi, kids. Hi. Lonnie? Really? Yeah? I could talk to you alone. Right now? Yeah, now. She's, uh, she's kind of cute, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you like her? Yeah, I kind of do. She's different. You didn't get me up here to ask about Miss Fasco, did you? Uh, no. Hey, uh, how about a beer? Oh, no, thanks. I got some adjustments. Billy, have a beer. Okay. Good. I just, um, uh, just got done talking to Adamson. Yeah? Yeah, we got ourselves a little problem. What? Oh, you're gonna be walking for a while. Pardon? I said you're gonna be walking for a while. What do you mean? I'm gonna drive the funny. You don't drive floppers? Yeah, I do today. That's my car. 
Billy, it's just gonna be for a couple of rides till I get the fuel back. Bullshit! Come on, Billy. Come on, Lonnie. I used to be a real racer. And you used to be good. I used to read about you when I was 12 years old, man. What do you want to be, a movie star? No, you, you want to get your picture in the papers? You want to sign autographs? You want to wave the crowd? You want to get laid? Well, you got it. Billy. Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, kid, you're walking. I'll have your, uh, I'll have your clutch adjusted in another 20 minutes. I've got about half. Final round. Gary Black is ready. Fast Cove Funny Car to staging, please. Five minutes is the final round of the Funny Car Eliminator. And how about it, race fans? It looks like we got a first here. Yes. Yes, it looks like Lonnie Lucky Man Johnson himself is going to drive the Fasco Firebird Funny Car. To my knowledge, this is Lonnie's first time ever in a double A funny car. What a place to start. Lonnie will be squaring off against someone all funny car enthusiasts know. One of the toughest competitors in the Pacific Northwest, Gary the Blacksmith Black. So don't go away, folks. This just has to be a ground bombing track murder. And remember, it's all happening here at Big Sky Driveways here in Montana. The Big Sky State. See how this thing. Well, we can give you a bigger sunroof if you want. All right, what's with the last minute driver switch? 
Well, I thought I'd try some slow and casual for a change. <sighs> you think I'm racing for trophies, man? I don't like losing funny card points to a Fuhrer pilot. Is that why you tried to burn me down? Yeah, that's right. I take it whatever way I can get it, man. I have to. I don't have oil barons paying my way. And you never will have if you keep running that slow. It just ain't fair. Huh? It just ain't fair. You don't tear a car out from under a guy like that. Damn right. I mean, I do all the work. I run all the qualifiers, then bang, I'm out, he's in, he gets all the goddamn glory. Now, look, Billy. We're all in this together. Oh, listen. It's a team effort. Only thing you gotta remember is it's Lonnie's team. Damn right. You be quiet. Well, I can get on the ride, you know. It wouldn't be no, no problem for me. Just like that, no problem. You could. Baby Otto. I told you be quiet. Now you looky here, Billy. Lonnie's a pioneer. You know what that means? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. That means that he was driving while they were still running on gas. There were no fuelers and funnies in those days. You could do a hell of a lot worse, you know. After all, you are running with the lucky man. I guess you're right. I don't know, I'm just pissed off. Hmm. I still see I could have beaten that blacksmith. I think you could have too. Damn right. Yeah. Hey, P. look at this. Oh, damn, let's pick him up. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. The semi's behind us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you looking for? Get the doors open. Oh, oh, oh. Here they come. Don't like yours much. <laughs> Billy. Oh, really? Three times. There's only two of us. Who's the other girl? You know something, gang? There's a lot of junk you can put down your pipes, you know what I mean? Now, I'm talking about the good stuff. You gotta take care of your baby's engine. So I suggest you go like the pros. And go with fast coal. If you want that power, that performance, and that protection. Yeah? Fast coal. This is what all the pro racers use. Fast coal motor treatment. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Kill me, he hates Fasco. Oh, yeah? Did you say your name last time? We have your call to Redline, sir. Good, uh, go ahead, please.
Red line, Jim speaking. Jimmy. Lonnie Johnson. How you doing? Lonnie. Hey, just fine, man. Bitching. Where are you? Oh, I don't know. I'm on the road somewhere. I'm on my way to Spokane. Hey, I hear you're driving the flopper. What's the world coming to? <laughs> well, it's only temporary. Just so you guys get me on the road again. Uh, th that's what it called about, Jim. Look, I figured out what's the matter with that blower. The damn thing is just too powerful and it generates too much torque. It started flexing the frame. So all we gotta do is triangulate the chassis, take the stress off, and we are home free. So Fasca's gonna let me go ahead with the dragster. What do you mean? Well, you know. They canceled the order a couple days after we talked. Uh, Jimmy, who canceled? Adamson. I didn't even get the estimate done. Well, didn't they tell you? Wow, that's absolutely incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Lonnie Johnson's fast go funny car back there, and this is Lonnie Johnson in person. They'll be down at Spokane Raceway this Saturday and Sunday, along with an international roster of cars and drivers. It's all part of the exciting and fast-growing sport of drag racing. And Lonnie Johnson here is one of the veterans. Hi, Lonnie. Uh, nice to be here, Chuck. Listen, Lonnie, I've heard that this fast go funny car of yours does over 200 miles an hour. Is that correct? We're better. I'm going to lose. <laughs> and who is this lady standing beside us here this afternoon? Uh, that's Candy Allison. Uh... Miss Fasco. Well, good afternoon, Candy Allison, and welcome to Spokane. Thanks, Chuck. I just want to say how happy I am to be here. And here's a Fasco decal for your car. Well, thank you very kindly. And I'm sure we'll be seeing you down at Spokane Raceway this weekend. You sure will, Chuck. And I hope all you nice people will be there, too. And remember, use Fasco Motor Treatment for trouble-free motoring. Well, how about that, Lonnie? What about that? You guys get paid to say that, don't you? How about that product? Is it really as good as you say? Do you really use it? Oh, uh, yeah, Chuck. I use it all the time. It's, uh, it's the best product I know to keep my toilet unclogged and free running. <laughs> well, that's Lonnie Johnson for you, ladies and gentlemen. A great kidder as well as a great driver. And speaking of driving, just for a minute more here, Lonnie, how about that? I've heard in drag racing circles that some people say Lonnie Johnson's a little bit more of a showman than a serious driver. Now, how would you reply to a statement like that, Lonnie? Uh, just like this, Chuck. And, uh, and remember, folks, every morning a tall, cool glass of Fasco is going to keep you regular and raunchy till way after sundown. Y'all keep smiling. Ladies and gentlemen, Lonnie Johnson along with Candy Allison, they'll be down at the Spokane Raceway this Saturday and Sunday. Another segment of Channel 5 Sport Profile. Oh, he's been pretty tractable up to now. What's gone wrong? Between you and me, his career is over and he can't handle it. He drinks, he crashes, he alienates other members of the team, he refuses to drive the funny car. Blair, we've got to go with another driver. I was thinking of Gary Black. Do you know him? Number one in the Pacific Northwest. With Fasco behind him, we can have a championship. Okay, Phil. The burden of proof uh, that we've got to make this move will be on your shoulders. That's where I like it, Blair. Good. I'll be seeing you soon. Take care, Blair. going out with Chuck Randall? No, you're going out with Chuck Randall. I'm um, taking care of some paperwork. I'm not going out with Chuck Randall by myself. Why not? He likes you. He told me so. I don't want to. Look, I want Randall to redo that interview. I want you to soften him up. Soften him up? That's what I said. It's public relations. Those aren't the kind that worry me, Phil. It's your job. Screwing Chuck Randall is not part of my job. It is if you want to keep it. Then I don't want to keep it. Then you're fired. Then I'm fired.
Hey, Phil, what's happening? Gary, how do you feel about the big meet this weekend? You think you can take it? <laughs> well, it's only Phil. I know I can take it. Damn right. That just goes to show you, you can win and still be a loser. Screw you, Phil. True? <laughs> Put some of that shit of yours in my car and it hasn't run right since. <laughs> Serves you right. You should know better. <laughs> you mind? Yeah, I mind. I just want to talk to your boss for a few minutes alone. Cool, it's done. All right, Phil, what the hell do you want? Fasco is interested in your future. Yeah. What about Johnson? Well, we're a big company. We have lots of interests. Johnson's won, but he's getting old and cranky. We're always looking for new winners. Right now, we're uh, looking for a funny car winner. <laughs> Man, I think I would kill for that semi. It's good to hear, Gary, but you don't have to. All you have to do is sign a long-term contract with Fasco, and it's yours. We'll even repaint it for you in your colors in time for the meet this weekend. You're serious about dumping Johnson? It's up to you. Here, I don't know where he is. Oh, God, I think I drunk too much. I think you did. I guess you're leaving, huh? What are you trying to get rid of me? Well, he said you quit, you ain't got no job. Yeah, I did say that. You want to you wanna wait with me for Lonnie? It could take all night. I like it when it takes all night. What? You heard me. <laughs> Think I did? Think you did. I'm so glad you decided to invite me up. What the hell is going on? Billy? Lonnie? <laughs> oh, hey, Billy! He didn't tell me we were coming. <laughs> oh, here I thought he'd interrupted something. No, no. Oh! <clears throat> Goodbye looking for Lonnie last night and he wasn't here. And uh, we just kind of fell in the bed. Yeah. Or, uh,. This is Cammy. Hi. Hi. Sammy. Hi. 
No comment. Took you long enough to get here, didn't it? Huh? Oh, Lonnie, listen, you got heavy problems. Candy overheard a conversation with Adamson to Kansas City about dropping the team. Well, <laughs> why don't we worry about that later, huh? No, I think we should worry about it now. Really? Look, Lonnie. You out. You in Keep a lover like you on the road for so long. Maybe your troubles are over. Shh. I don't need that. I'm a big girl now, honey. Hey, I knew what I was getting into. Maybe just not for how long. No, I mean it, babe. I really think I want to quit. You know, if it's really that important to him, Adamson and Gary Black and the kid, we'll let him have it. Because what do I need it for? You know, I used to drag on a river road for, for Coca-Colas. And I thought I never wanted to quit. If all it took to get you to come home was a little good loving, why didn't you call me a hell of a lot sooner? Maybe you should have. Lonnie, I want to talk to you. Privately. This is the second time in two weeks you walk in here without knocking. This is where I live. It's my home. Yeah, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. That's what I came to talk to you about. Yeah, well, I would like to talk to you first. I'm not interested. I want to talk to you about hurting people. You know, you're out of your goddamn mind, Johnson. You're out of your mind, and you're over the hill. First, you turned my trailer into a goddamn whorehouse. Now it's an insane asylum. Baby, you're finished. You got it? Finished. Adamson, take a look around you. There's all of us, and then there's you. Now, we're going to run that car, and you ain't going to stop us. You're all finished. Gee, Lonnie must have done something to get him mad. Meepo, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Hey, me. You ain't going no place till you're finished with that oil plan. I'm done, Stoner.
I've got a little job for you. engine blow up on you? I don't know. Man. She was strong until it shut it down. Somebody got to us, right? What's he talking about, Lonnie? I don't know. Hey, what happened to Johnson? He caught fire. Let's go check it out, man. I'll let him fry. Hey, man, cool it. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Hey, what the hell happened? That's beautiful. We got stiff, that's what happened. You watch your ass, you little suck. Back off me, bro. Hey. Gary? Hey, Johnson, I don't have to kill you to beat you. I know you don't. Let's get it back to the fifth, PJ. You don't buy that shit, do you? Come on, kid. Cover gaskets missing, Mom. Okay, load her up. You're fired. Hey, what the hell are you doing, you son of a bitch? Ah. Mom! Mom! What are you waiting for? Come 
on, big man. Come on now. How you doing, honey? Hey, uh, Elder thinks he can get me a job with domestic auto parts. Uh, no, Billy. That's all right. The money's decent. Besides, I think I can drive locally on the weekends. Some guy has got double Bs here. Uh, wouldn't you rather go racing with me at Edmonton next week? Shit, yeah. But uh, we ain't got no car. We got a car. It's just been stolen. All we have to do is find it. You're a lucky man, 200 miles an hour, drinking up the fumes. You're never more alive when you feel this power. You better have it today, cause the going gets hot. Racing both the man and the clock, you're living your life on fire, you see. Fast company Competition's tough out there. Cars are all good, drivers are all good. You need an edge, something that'll get you over the top. Now, I got the best power plant on the circuit. With the kind of performance that Fasco gives me, nobody can touch me. We won the uh, Funny Car Nationals on Sunday with this machine here. Yeah, we're uh, staying at the Sandman Inn, room 237. I don't know why Lonnie wanted us to come down here for. We should be out looking for the car. Look, somebody knows where that car is. And that somebody's gonna be here for sure. Oh, shit, look at this. Come here, can you believe this? It's right here. Hey, me, Paul, looking pretty cute, huh? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Well, I wish there was something I could do to help, Lonnie. There is. You can give me another beer. They found a funny car. What? Where? Adamson's got it on display at the car show, right out in the open. Is it hurt? They butcher it? No, it looks fine. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got more balls and brains. No shit. Make us sick to see it. It's all roped off and propped up. <sighs> Will? Let's go get her. Go get her? What are you gonna do, walk in there and stuff it in your pocket? It's a car, isn't it? We're gonna drive that sucker out.
Okay, hit it. How about you? You want to spend the next 10 years of your life on the circuit? Well, well, maybe not driving, but, uh, you know, I got my people to take care of. <laughs> yeah, I know all about that. Hey, you gonna build a new fueler? 
You bet. Where are you gonna get the money? Hey, look, I wasn't too bad at hustling rise before Fasco. No. I'm not ashamed to do it again. Just so long as it's my own ride and my own way. Well, if you ever do decide to set up a shop, something like Lonnie Johnson racing engines. <laughs> hey, Seattle's not a bad spot. My neighborhood ain't exactly in a bad part of town. <laughs> Sam, if I ever do, if I ever do, This is it, the one you've been waiting for, the Fasco Funny Car Challenge of the Champions. Let's take a look, see who we got down there now. Hey, it's gonna be a scorcher. We got the brand new Fasco Vega Funny Car, driven by one of the funny car warriors of a way back. I'm talking about Gary, the Blacksmith Black. We've got him here right today with us now. As a matter of fact, we've even got a man here today that nobody expected to see. It's a, it's a man, man that, that everybody, everybody knows, knows, even though he's, he's one, one of the, the newest, newest funny car pilots, pilots on, the on the circuit today. today. A, a man, man whose entry crossed, crossed my desk just, just a few hours, hours ago. ago. You know you who know I'm, I'm talking, talking about. about. The lucky, lucky man is here. Lonnie, Lonnie Johnson, Johnson will be here. He'll be driving the X Fasco AA Fuel Funny Car as an independent today for the very first time. I knew you'd like that one. tenth of a second off our best time with a quadravane. I know that line. Well, what are we doing about it? <clears throat> What's the read, Billy boy? Mm -hmm. 82. Bump it up to 88 or 89, throw in the label. Think you can handle that, big man? I don't know. Once you ask the kid, mm -hmm. he's driving. Now, he's still got a fire suit? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. You heard the man. Well? Uh, 
Well, I've got it covered, man. And I'm gonna put him on the trailer in front of 20,000 people. I want that son of a bitch. Oh. You don't want to fuss in front of the cameras. Mm -hmm. You don't sweat it, Phil. Johnson's gonna be staring at my wheelie bars all the way down the strip. Semi-final time was 0.3 better than yours, Gary. Yeah, well, I didn't have it dialed in yet. I tell you, I'm gonna blow his doors right off, man. Meatball, what do you got? Got some real nice for you, Mr. Adams. All you gotta do is make sure Gary's in the left lane and he can't lose. What's that gonna accomplish? Don't worry about it. It's got real class. Just leave it to me, Paul. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know what's going on here, man, but I don't like it. You just drive, Gary. That's what you're good at. Jeans. Are you ready? This is it. The one you've been waiting for. The final two Nitro Nifties are paired off, and we're ready for the final round of the Fasco Funny Card Challenge of the Champions. Let's take a look, see what we got down on the starting line. It is going to be a scorcher. We've got the new Fasco Vega Funny Card, driven by Gary the Black Mist Black. Going up against the former Fasco Firebird Funny Card. Hi, Gary. Howdy. How are we doing? Real good. Who's going to call it? I guess that's us. Oh, heads. Heads. It's a head. All right. <laughs> Left lane. Good luck, guys. Uh, we seem to have an apparent malfunction of our time equipment up here in the tower. Now, there seems to be a little confusion down there on the track as to which car has got which lane. Billy? Right lane. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What's this? Hey, man, we screwed up. There wasn't supposed to be a toss. Fasco rules are the slow car gets the lane choice. No way, man! No way! You can't do this! What are you trying to... Hey, you can't... Hey. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Come on. Come on. I got you. Come on. Come on. You get in there and you drive yourself. And a last minute lane switch like this could make the drivers a little uneasy. But I think, I think they've got it all sorted out. I think they're ready to go. All right. Get this. Billy Brooker will be running in the tower lane, and Gary the Blacksmith Black will be in the left lane. Meatball. Forget about it. Forget about it? <coughs> yeah. All right, they, they seem to be ready to go. Engines are fired up. The fiberglass bodies are lowered over the drivers.
my side, flame burnouts. After all, that's what it's all about, right, man? Hang on, everybody, stay where you are, please. Do not move, do not go out on the track. We have to get our fire truck down there and all the emergency vehicles. Please remain in your seats, do not move.
I guess we got a week or two off. I guess we do. Kids are great. What you gonna do now, big man? Well, me and the old lady are gonna spend some time together. Gonna hang up the goggles. Finally got him to quit, did you? Yeah, for at least a whole week. Hi, Elder. Hey, hey. Billy boy. Hey, can you drop us by the bus depot? We gotta catch a bus to Frisco. Hey, PJ, you wanna come along? Apparently her girlfriend's really into hot cars and digs tall mechanics with big wrenches. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I could go. Uh, no, uh, Elder and me going down to Redline in Tacoma. We gotta start working on the new frame jigs for a couple of quadravane powered cars. Yeah, Lonnie's gonna bring a big bag full of money from Seattle, we hope. So if you want that skinny ass of yours to fit into that new funny car we're building, you better be there. I'll be there. Right. Well, might as well hit the road. Let's do that. See your red line, huh? Yeah. Good luck. <clears throat> you drive safe. Go! Go!